Yo, what's up guys? Today I want to start with a story. Back to the 6th century, the Roman soldiers were fighting against the Persian soldiers. And suppose one day, 10 Roman soldiers met 8 Persian soldiers. And they had a fight. Suppose they are all equally strong. Can you predict which side will win? Well, obviously, the Roman soldiers outnumber the Persian soldiers and they will win the battle. But how many Roman soldiers could survive at the end of the battle? I believe many of you can figure this out. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Simple math, isn't it? Then what about modern combat? Well, I have to tell you, modern combats are much more complicated. With the use of firearms, the soldiers can attack multiple targets and can receive fire from multiple directions as well. This is very different from ancient combats, and so we have to apply the Lanchester's Square Law. And the Square Law is, the number of soldiers remaining at the end of the battle equals to square rules of larger army size squared minus smaller army size squared. In order to help you better understand this formula, we will play a game. Suppose you and I are generals of two armies. Both of our armies have 1,000 soldiers. Now I'm going to lead my army to attack yours. Are you ready? Round 1 If we use the square law to calculate, since both armies have 1,000 people, the number of soldiers remaining is simply square root of 1,000 squared minus 1,000 squared, which is zero. This means that all of our soldiers are lost in the war, both yours and mine. However, if you use another strategy, the result might be different. So, let's play another round. Round 2 If you split my army into two halves and attack the first half first, according to the square law, your army will win because you have more soldiers. And at the end of the battle, your soldiers remaining is square root of 1000 squared minus 500 squared, which is 866. Then you lead your remaining army to attack the rest 500 people of my army. By the square law, you still outnumber me and will win the battle again. Number of soldiers remaining in your army after this battle is square root of 866 squared minus 500 squared, which equals to 707. So, when all of my army is destroyed, you still have 707 soldiers. That's a huge success.